Yeah, I just want to show you the cooling mod that I made for my um, HP Elite 8300 small form factor computer. As you can see right here, I added a fan right there. And you see the thing on the top? this thing. The reason why I put it in there was because you need a small space between the fan and the heat sink because when the fan is like this sometimes when it's too close to the heat sink it's gonna this part this fan is like pushing the air out this way so the humped part is pointing towards the heat sink. So when it's pushing in like this, it's uh, hitting the heat sink. So it's not going to spin very good. So you, you need to add this piece right here to create a space. Like that. So now there's no obstruction to the fan when it's spinning. You could just spin. See? That's why I put it in there. And this I got from a Swiss Army knife. It's like a knife sharpener that I bought with the... That came with a Swiss Army knife. So, it closes too. The case closes with this thing on the on there and I'm gonna take it apart and show you the front part of it to this modification that I made as you can see right there I have two paper clips which is looped through this thing and goes over here on the back and the same with this one right here it goes over here on the back and it's uh, connected to a rubber band which I put in which I looped through there and I also put another rubber band right I don't know if you can see that or not which is right there which I put across all the way all the way around so that would hold the fan in place better and now I'm gonna close it again I think that's about it so it is possible to put a, another fan on this computer like right there so one fan is right there this is the fan that is pushing the air from the outside to in this way and this one pushes the air this way out. So that's the point. I'm going to put this back in. And as you can see, it does close. Yeah, I'm able to put this cover back on. Right, this one. So I just put this cable right underneath there and now I'm gonna have to use this thing so that the fan isn't see it's obstructing it see it's like hitting against a heat sink like scratching it I don't want that so I use this thing I think you could use any plastic piece to do this it doesn't have to be that Swiss Army knife sharpener, but that fits really nicely with this. That's it. That's the point. Well, I put it in there, and you just close the case. And now you have air coming in from here, from the outside, and it goes here and it goes out. So I guess this would uh, cool the. CPU more effectively it would uh, lower the temperature better 
compared to just having a fan right here which sucks it, the air in from the outside which just blew it in through here now it has a way to exit out which uh, would definitely help with cooling the computer and there's no exhaust fan in this computer so I think the air came in here right through the, with this fan and it jetted out this way through the power supply because this fan definitely is uh, pushing the air out this way so air came in here and air was sucked out through there so that's how that was set up because there's no way to put a case fan in this computer in the back right there's no way you could put a fan here or here so that's how this design is like and uh, I just put this thing in here to just help with the air flow for the CPU and in addition to that the fan that I'm using right here is just an 80 millimeter fan with the three pin um, connector which I put uh, let me zoom in which I put right there it just connected it just went right in I'll take it out and I'll put it back in again um, Okay, that's the zoom in. That is a three pin connector for the fan, as you can see. And there is actually a place in the motherboard to put this in. which is a good thing now it's in so you don't have to have any kind of special connector to put that 80 millimeter fan in if you decide to put a fan in right here and the good thing about this piece is when you close it it secures into place it secures it into place so it can't come out okay thanks for watching